German Social Democrat and President of the European Parliament, Martin Schulz, has talked to your news about the latest stage of the Greek crisis. Finally, there is an agreement on Greece, but uh, what we see is two different approaches on the text. I mean, the Greek government says that it won the first battle, but on the other hand, the Germans or other international key players say that it's an old deal in new clothing. What do you think? Well, let's be realistic. The government made concessions here, and it is not easy for them now to convince their citizens to be a little bit more patient to reduce a little bit the expectation and uh, therefore the different interpretations uh, arise then this is normal. So what we agreed is that we should uh, on one hand ask from the Greek government to fulfill the promises they made in the frame of the program and on the other hand the European uh, partners should pay now the seven and a half billion and then we win time for four months. Let's go a little bit back to the negotiations. It was 19 Eurozone ministers deciding this agreement. But at the end, it seemed like it was a personal debate between the Germans and the Greeks, between Mr. Varoufakis and Mr. Schäuble. What is your impression? This is not a debate between Wolfgang Schäuble and uh, Mr. Varoufakis. This is a debate amongst 18 uh, uh, finance ministers with Mr. Varoufakis. There were other finance ministers not so known uh, than Mr. Schäuble, who were perhaps even more radical than Mr. Schäuble, that the Germans have a strong influence. Uh, this is a result of the 27% they represent in the Eurozone. But uh, France has 20% and Italy 18%. Uh, these two countries together, together are 38% of the uh, money given to Greece. So they have their voice as well. It is not a fight one against another. We must have a fight in favor of the Greek people. Mr. Schulz, you know uh, all the backstage of the negotiations. How close we were to a Brexit uh, in this period of time? It depends from the government in Athens. It depends from the partners if they are prepared to find a constructive compromise. and. I beg your pardon, I understand your question, but uh, I prefer not to discuss about uh, uh, theoretical options. I want to discuss about concrete needs of citizens. I'm not thinking about Grexit. You were the first uh, of the EU officials that went to Greece when Mr. Tsipras won the elections. What is your impression? Does he have a political plan for the future? I prefer always to speak with people and not about people. That was the reason why I went to him. I knew him as opposition leader. Uh, to be honest, uh, this is a new government with not so much experience uh, how to govern and not so much experience in international relations. Therefore, one or another improvement uh, is uh, for sure still possible. What is your expectations uh, from them? Uh, for the next four months of the extension? That uh, we can rely on what they say. Uh, one of the uh, most important items to gain trust and to regain trust is that people can rely on uh, agreements and promises. And therefore I found it contraproductive. You have an agreement and the next day uh, the Greek finance minister says, yeah, but we must also discuss about other things. No. We must now agree about concrete steps. The steps should be announced and then applied. That is the best way to gain trust. Therefore, my expectation is let's announce what we want to do and let's do then what we announced. Could you say that uh, austerity and memorandums are over for Greece? No. Uh, for sure, Greece has to reduce its sovereign debt and must pay. The debt. And by the way, the Greek debt was not decided uh, in Berlin or in Brussels, it was decided in Athens. Therefore, the country has a certain responsibility. But we know no country, neither Greece nor another country, will ever assign a public budget with, without more revenues, without more money uh, for the country. But what does it mean, more money for the countries? We need growth and employment. And what we saw during the last years, especially uh, uh, the philosophy of the International Monetary Fund, was only cut. But you know, uh, only cut is not sufficient. 
something that uh, you all agree, I mean the Greek government and the creditors, is that Greece needs reforms. But uh, structural reforms need time to show results. Does Greece have this time? I mean, it needs money immediately. I think everybody is prepared to give Greece more time if the structural reforms are really credible and reliable. And the structural reforms must affect, first of all, and that's a progress uh, made of the uh, government to fight against tax evasion, tax fraud, and uh, to look to the revenue side of the budget and not only to the uh, spending side. Therefore, for example, to uh, finish privatization in a general way is wrong. I understand those who say we will not sell for nothing our public goods, okay. But to find investors like the Chinese who wanted to invest in the harbor in Piraeus, or Fraport, the owner of the airport in Frankfurt, who wants to invest in the airport in Athens. These are reliable investors, and these are not bloody capitalists who want to uh, uh, introduce slavery in Greece. What is uh, the big challenge for the government? Because we see right now that there are some disagreements inside the, the same party, inside the government, about the next steps. If they want to get uh, investments in the country, uh, it is for sure necessary that they clarify within their own government the line. Uh, but this is not up to me to make a judgment about that. This is uh, the Prime Minister who must uh, bring his government and his coalition together. By the way, that a left-wing party like Syriza joins a government uh, with Mr. Komenos is also uh, a surprising thing to be very, uh, very prudent. I could even uh, find other words, but uh, Mr. Komenos is perhaps <laughs> perhaps not the logical partner of a left-wing party like Syriza, but okay, we have to live with the government. Okay, Mr. Schulz, thank you very much. Thank you.